Hi guys, welcome to exam pad. In today's class, we are going to solve this problem, this square root problem and also found the value of x. So, let's begin with the question. Okay. Here, the solution is, first I am going to write the question here. The question is root 1 minus root of 1 minus x, g is equal to x. So, usually we know the step. So, we need to remove the square root. What do you have to do? We need to take square on both sides. Here, I am going to take square on both sides. Okay. So, square root of 1 minus root of 1 minus x, t is equal to whole square, t is equal to x square. Okay. So, now this square root and the square get cancelled. So, now I will get 1 minus root 1 minus x which is equal to x square. Now, I am going to shift this 1 towards left hand side. Therefore, minus root of 1 minus x which is equal to x square minus 1. So, this minus can also be written as minus 1 which means which indicates minus 1 into the root of 1 minus x. Is it? Therefore, which is equal to x square minus 1. So, in order to remove the square root, what have to do? Again, I am going to take, again, take square on both sides. So, therefore, minus 1 the whole square into root of minus 1 minus x the whole square which is equal to x square minus 1 the whole square. So, 1 minus 1 the whole square is obviously 1 into the square and this root get cancelled. Therefore, 1 minus x which is equal to x square minus 1 the whole square. So, now I am going to simplify this. So, 1 into anything the same thing. So, 1 minus x which is equal to so this is in the form this is in the format of a minus b the whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square a square minus 2ab plus b square so, so just apply this formula here therefore a square is x square a is x square so x square the whole square minus 2 into x square into this one plus 1 square. Okay. Therefore, 1 minus x which is equal to x. So, the if has 2 power, we can able to multiply these two. So, 2 into 2, 4 minus 2x square plus 1. Okay. Now, I am going to arrange this in. So, arrange this in ascending order of the power. So, therefore, first power is x power 4. So, there is no x3 term. Second power is x square. So, minus 2x square. Third term is x. So, but it is in the after the equal to. If it moves towards this side, the sign get changed as plus x. So, 1 minus 1. So, both get cancelled. Therefore, which is equal to 0. Okay. Now, if you see here, x is common in all the term. So, if I take x out. So, the remaining is, if I take 1 out, here 3 is there. Minus 2. Here 2x. If I take 1x. So I have only 1x. Here nothing but here 1. So which is equal to 0. So I am going to equate that with 0 individually. So from this we can able to conclude x is equal to 0 for this x. And then for this equation x cube minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So in upcoming step, step we can able to solve this. So let us do that. Sorry. So, I am going to solve this. Here. So, what I get? X is equal to 0. We found 1 of the value. So, the remaining equation is x cube minus 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0. This is for the another equation. So, I am going to solve this equation by synthetic division method. 
so it makes the problem simple okay so first i'm going to draw like this and here i'm going to write the position of the coefficient of the powers so here we are going to write the coefficient of x cube after that x square after that x after that constant so here we need to include the coefficient of x cube so coefficient of x cube is nothing but 1 coefficient of x cube x square is not there so let's consider that as 0 coefficient of x is minus 2 coefficient of constant is 1 so first i'm going to take 1 okay so let's check whether it satisfies this equation or not so let's take 1 so here defaultly write 0 1 plus 1 i'll get 1 so and then i need to multiply 1 and 1 1 multiplied by 1 i'll get 1 here so i need to add these two then i'll get 1 then i need to multiply this one and this one so one multiplied by one is one so if i add these two then i'll get minus one then one multiplied with minus one i'll get minus one if i add these two i'll get what zero so when i receive zero this one is considered as the one of the factor for this equation so let's take this equation x cube minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 which is equal to what here 1 so which means x is equal to 1 so this can also be written as x minus 1 is equal to 0 right so just write that x minus 1 here therefore x minus 1 into here we need to give power as x square x and constant so x square into 1 x square plus x multiplied by 1 x here constant is minus 1 which is equal to 0. So from this I can able to form the another x value that is x minus 1 is equal to 0 and then equate that this equation with 0 x square plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So from this I can form x is equal to 1 from this. So let's take this is the another value of x already we found one value of x is equal to 0 so here we are going to found another value x is equal to 1 so now i am going to simplify this equation by formula method by formula method the formula was x is equal to x is the factor right so we are going to find the x here x is equal to minus b plus or minus the root of b square minus 4ac divided by 4a so this is what the formula so here we need to write a b c value from this equation so here a is coefficient of x square that is 1 b is coefficient of x that is is also 1 so c is constant constant coefficient of constant is minus 1 okay so just substitute these two val these three values in the formula therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the root of b square is 1 square minus 4 into a is 1 c is minus 1 divided by 4 into 1 okay therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the root of 1 here already is there here we have minus 4 minus 4 into minus plus so plus 4 divided by sorry here is not a 4a here 2a okay sorry for uh, inconvenience so 2a so here we have 2 so therefore x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2 okay so from this i can able to found the two value from this Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 and x is equal to minus 1 minus root 5 by 2. Okay. So, from this, I can able to found the value for x is x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 and x is equal to minus 1 minus root 5 by 2. So this is the answer for this question. 
So practice tries and tries, then you will get a perfect answer. Have a nice day. Bye bye.